Welcome to the first in a series of tutorials on using the Finch Robot and Hummingbird Robotics Kit with Snap, an environment that allows anyone to quickly program animations, games, and now robots within a browser-based drag-and-drop editor. Snap is developed by Jens Monig and Brian Harvey and presented by UC Berkeley. It's a re-implementation of the popular Scratch user interface that adds in-browser capability, the ability to create your own blocks, first-class lists and procedures, and continuations. You can learn more about SNAP by visiting their website at snap.berkeley.edu. And on this website, you can enter the regular SNAP uh, interface by clicking on the Run SNAP Now button. If you're new to SNAP and Scratch programming, you may also want to look through the Reference Manual, which is down here. So if I'm going to click on this, you can now see a, a Snap or Scratch-based user interface for programming um, animations and games. Uh, what you don't see here are blocks for controlling the Finch and Hummingbird. Uh, before we can use Snap with Finch and Hummingbird, we need to install the BirdBrain robot server. This application exposes the Finch and Hummingbird's capabilities over the web, providing a way for Snap blocks to communicate with our robots. So to do so, first we need to visit www.hummingbirdkit.com slash learning slash software slash snap. And on this page, um, there are instructions for how to install, how to launch snap, uh, programming, uh, details about the finch blocks and hummingbird blocks, how to save, load, and configure uh, the your programs or projects, uh, the current known issues with the program, and also, if you're interested, the technical details on how the application works as well as the source code. So we're in a Windows environment right now. We're going to download the Windows installer, and we'll wait for that to download. And we'll open that up. Um, we'll click Run on the security prompt. If you have an antivirus program, um, running, it may pop up a warning. Um, if so, just select Run This Program anyway. And it will uh, enter a regular installer. We'll hit Install, wait for it to install. Hit Finish. Now we'll notice on our desktop we now have a shortcut to the BirdBrain robot server. We also see this under All Programs, BirdBrain Robot Server, there it is. So we'll double click on this and we'll see the application comes up and it shows you the current connection status of the Finch or the Hummingbird as well as an option to open Snap um, to open the Snap programming environment. So let me connect um, both Finch and Hummingbird. So if you've forgotten to um, connect a robot before running the application, just close it and reopen it. And now it shows that I have both a Finch connected and a Hummingbird connected. Um, now in this checkbox, uh, if I wish, I can open Snap locally so that I'm not relying on an internet connection to, um, to run the program. So this opens a version of the Snap source code that is on your hard drive. Uh, the disadvantage of that is that you won't be able to save programs to um, Snap's cloud storage system. So I'm going to open Snap in my default browser, which is Chrome, and it's opening the blocks for Finch and Hummingbird. And there they are. In this tutorial, we've covered installation of how to launch Snap with Finch and Hummingbird blocks loaded. The following tutorials will focus on how to use these blocks in Snap. Thanks for watching.